Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. So, The Hobbit, an unexpected journey stars Martin Freeman, Ian McCallum, Richard Armitage, Andy Serkis, Hugo Weaving, Christopher Lee, and Kate Blanchett. And what this film is about it's about this hobbit named Bilbo Baggins. And, you know, he's just an ordinary hobbit, he just loves life and just wants to be relaxed but when Gandalf comes to him and he asks him do you want to go on this adventure with me to help these dwarves get back to their mountain home you know he's kind of conflict like doesn't know if he really wants to do it but he he goes on the adventure and there we go we get our unexpected journey so what I think of the Hobbit an unexpected journey I thought this was a great movie honestly I loved the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. It was a nice prequel to Lord of the Rings. It's a great prequel, honestly, and I honestly really enjoyed it. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. So let's get to my positives, and my positives are the acting with the film. The acting is great in this film. I thought everybody by did a tremendous job in this film. Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins, he's great. He owns this role, he is so great as Bilbo Baggins. I absolutely loved him in this film. He did such a great job in this film. You know, uh, he he was just great, honestly. I thought he, you know, every time he need, needed to do humor and stuff, he was great. He was just honestly great in this movie. I thought Martin Freeman did a great job. Of course, Ian McKellen as Gandalf. He's great. I, I always love seeing Ian McKellen as Gandalf. He's just absolutely great. And, you know, he just does a great job in the film. I love him in the movie. Richard Armitage as as uh, Thornin. Uh, yeah, Thornin. He is great. He really was. I thought he did a great job as Thornin. He really was. You know, he did such a great job. as kind of compelling character who has been through a lot, honestly. And you see that once you... If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. He really has been through a lot. And I like seeing that, and it was just, uh, he was just a great character, and I thought Richard Armitage did a great job as thrown in, so yeah. Andy Serkis, has, of course, as Gollum, he's great, I love him as Gollum, he, it was great to see him back in this movie, he really was, he did such a great job as Gollum, you know, um, he was just great, so yeah. And of course, Hugo Weaving, Christopher Lee and Kate Blanchett, although not in the film too much, it was still great seeing them again, and I thought they were really good for the scenes that they had in it, so yeah. The action, the action is so great, you know, uh, it, it just really is, the action is great in this film, some really well filmed action in my opinion, and especially when you get towards the last um, act of the film, it really, really um, has some great action, and definitely well filmed. And it was just great watching. So yeah, the action was great. The journey that they all go on. I love this journey that they're all going on. They get, they get into some run-ins. And it's funny. And so honestly, I thought the journey was great. And it was just a great journey. Just like just like with Fellowship. It was a great journey. You know, and that's what I like about it. It was kind of, kind of like Fellowship. Where it was just like this great journey trying to get somewhere. So yeah, I like that. The music, the music's absolutely incredible. I love the musical score. It's so beautiful with this movie. Um, the writing with the film, the writing's absolutely incredible. You know, some great dialogue between the characters. The directing, the directing's absolutely incredible. Of course, this movie's directed by Peter Jackson. And man, just like I said with the Lord of the Rings films, with this Hobbit film, he takes you out of reality and puts you in Middle Earth. And he just does such a great job, honestly, with it. Just Peter Jackson knows what he's doing, and he did such a great job directing this film. The pacing, the pacing's absolutely... Actually, it's really good. The pacing's really good. It's 2 hours and 49 minutes. It's really good, honestly. So, yeah. However, The Hobbit is not a perfect film because there are some flaws with it. And my, and my negatives are... Um, some of the pacing, like, it's mostly towards the beginning. I know you've heard this probably in our reviews, but, yeah, towards the beginning, it's a little bit slow. Could have picked up more. Not until when uh, Bilbo goes, I'm going on an adventure. That's when he, that's when it starts really going. And that's when I was, not that I wasn't invested at first, but that's when I became more and more invested once, you know, that happened. So, yeah. And there's this scene that drags on a bit too much. I'm going to just say this. 
it's a they're playing a game of riddles. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like that scene dragged out a little bit too much. I thought they could have shortened it a bit. I'm like, can we speed it up? Yeah, I, I get it. You know, I, can we just speed it up a bit? I just thought that scene was way too dragged out. I thought they could have shortened it a bit, so yeah. But overall, guys, The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey is an absolutely great film. You know, I really enjoyed it. It's a great movie and definitely is a great prequel to The Lord of the Rings, so yeah. So it's time for my official grade on The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. And my official grade on The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey is an A-. minus. It's a great film. I think you all should check this film out. It's great. I loved it. It's definitely worthy of getting an A-. minus. So what did you guys think of The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey? Leave in the comment section below. I'm WWEFAN0599. And we'll see you all tomorrow for my review for The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Peace.